Hey guys, it's Shade. I am not dead. I am not a cruel, cruel victim of Inktober. Okay, so let's talk about Inktober week one. I had so many plans for Inktober. I was so excited for Inktober. I was like, I'm going to do it every day and I'm going to do a really cool, complicated lettering and floral illustration and I'm going to scan them into coloring pages and then I'm going to turn it into a coloring book and it's just going to be amazing and it's going to be awesome and never mind actually I have never completed an Inktober before but that doesn't matter all of this was going to happen so what you're watching is day one and you can tell I was so gung-ho i think this took over an hour to make which is way too much for an inktober illustration unless you have dedicated october to only inktober which is maybe what i should have done but that's not what happened and i had made all of these plans ahead of time figured out what i was going to draw i thought i was set and my body conspired against me. Immediately, as soon as October began, my body said, I refuse and I hate you. <laughs> and I just basically tried to push through it through the first month. I was running 100% on adrenaline. I was just so excited and I just, didn't want to change my plans in any kind of way. But that was so hard on me physically because I was feeling so bad and I wanted to spend so much time on these illustrations and I still had, of course, other things to do. So that just, I just didn't make any sense. So, by the time I got to this illustration, I thought I have to take a different approach than I was planning. And I really started getting into maybe this is a zucchini blossom. And I really like working with a dip pen. I like the variation that you can get. So I thought, okay, this will at least make me happy. And in the end, I ended up adding watercolor splashes to it, which was fun. Bright and colorful. The funny thing about Inktober is that I feel like it's not so much a fight to produce some kind of illustration, right? It's a fight with yourself. It's a fight with yourself to be consistent and do this every day, even if you're the type of person who produces art every day. Somehow it being a challenge seems to make things a little different. And it's also a fight with yourself to be gentle with yourself. In my case, especially because I've been feeling so ill this whole month. But it's actually kind of weird because Inktober has kind of been a point of stability for me. It feels comforting 
to keep doing it and to know that regardless of how I'm feeling, this is something that I'm going to show up and do today. Is that weird? I think that's the thing, like routine can help you in stressful times because it's not something that you have to think about or make a decision about. And it can give you kind of a sense of normalcy. So I guess doing Inktober has given me a kind of sense of normalcy. Generally, I wouldn't say to try and force yourself to paint or to draw if you're not feeling well and you're not feeling up to it. But if you don't put too much pressure on yourself to make something and you're just doing something that'll make yourself happy, I think a regular practice can be kind of like a pacifier. And since we can't have the little rubber ones anymore, why not have a sort of grown-up sort of pacifier? I really enjoyed painting this sage for some reason. I thought about it going in someone's kitchen and hanging there, like my mom's kitchen, and that made me really happy. I thought about someone cooking and feeling the fuzzy sage leaves. And that was just like really nice and peaceful. It's kind of funny, like what sort of things make me happy. So it was just really simple. The watercolor that I added on top was way too vibrant to be real to sage leaves. They're a much more powdery sort of green, but I was just having fun with watercolor. I miss watercolor too much. Inktober is so hard because of that. So that was the end of my first week. I hope you guys' first week went okay. See you around for a week in number two highlights. Until then, be gentle with yourself. Bye.